Concepts is a vector-based design tool that blends freehand creativity with technical accuracy. It's ideal for architects, engineers, or anyone who needs an infinite flexible space to think visually. In this video, I'll walk you through the core features and functionality to get you ready to design in under 10 minutes. When you start a new drawing, many apps ask you to decide what size of paper you want. The beauty of an infinite canvas is, you don't have to make that decision yet. Just start sketching and let your ideas spread out. To move or pan around the infinite canvas, place two fingers on the screen and drag them around to explore. You can sketch and iterate on your ideas in any direction, as far as you want. Zooming happens by pinching and spreading your fingers, and you can rotate the canvas by turning your hand. The most important menu on your canvas is the tool wheel. It contains eight configurable tool slots, along with undo and redo buttons, plus property sliders and the color menu. Activating a tool happens with a single tap. If you tap it again, while it's selected, you can access the brush menu where you can find all of our brush and tool options. Once you pick a new brush or tool, it will replace the old one in that specific tool slot. Note that you can choose the same tool to be used in multiple slots with different settings or colors as well. The middle ring of the tool wheel has adjustment sliders for your brush size, opacity and smoothness. You can easily make some quick adjustments to your tool by tapping on one of the symbols or just by dragging on them directly. For example, if you draw a line and it seems a bit shaky, you can smooth it out by increasing the percentage of smoothing. Increase it all the way to 100 and you'll get instant straight lines. What's special about Concepts is that every stroke remains editable after you draw it. Using the selection tool, the little cursor here, you can select any stroke or item, then duplicate, move, scale and rotate, mirror, or delete it. You can also change the brush, or color, or change any other property of your line work without having to redraw anything. Tapping on these little handles allows you to distort the selection, or you can use the Nudge tool for making little tweaks. The Slice tool is our destructive eraser for vector items. Masking tools can be found separately in the brush menu. The center of the tool wheel displays your current active color. Tapping on it brings up the color wheel. The Copic wheel has 358 colors, handpicked and aligned to make selecting and blending complementary shades intuitive. If you need more flexibility, try the HSL or RGB sliders, which you can find on the inner ring here. You can also select colors from anywhere on the canvas, such as an image. The color picker is available here, but also via tap and hold on the canvas. At the top of your screen, there is the status bar, which manages information about your drawing. On the left side is the return to gallery button, the drawing name, and the actions bar, where we can quickly toggle canvas menus like precision, layers, and objects. The precision tools manage your grid, snap, and measurement options, as well as shape guides that act sort of like drawing templates. Finally, there's shape recognition for drawing basic shapes even more quickly. Tapping the toggle turns the feature on and off, while tapping the label brings up configuration options. This one, for example, opens the settings where you can set the scale of your drawing. The second button toggles your layers menu. You might be familiar with manual layering already, but one place where concept stands apart is a special automatic layering mode that sorts your strokes by tool type while you draw. You can toggle between the two modes here. 
Tap the active layer to bring up options like selection, deleting, merging, or opacity. Note that tapping any other layer will automatically switch you to manual mode. The third button toggles the objects library. Objects are pre-made drag and drop assets that can make your design work much faster. You can find a library full of royalty free objects in the object market. And if you want to make your own objects, you can do that too. These three can be relocated by dragging and dropping them on the canvas. The same applies to the tool wheel. Place your finger or stylus on the outer ring, hold it still for a second, and then drag the wheel to a new location. If you prefer to have a toolbar, just drag the wheel to the side or top of your screen and turn it into a bar. On the top right side are the zoom and rotation options, the Pro Store for adding deeper functionality, import and export options, and the settings and help sections. The import menu lets you take photos or import images and multi-page PDF documents. These can be used for precise markup, annotation, or just visual reference directly on your canvas. The export menu allows precise sharing in both vector and raster formats like SVG, PDF and PNG. Just define exactly what to share, whether it's the viewport, an artboard or a selection, and export at any size or resolution to your chosen destination. Next up are your canvas settings. There are two tabs here, Workspace and Interaction. In the Workspace tab, you can make adjustments to your canvas by changing its background, grid type, artboard size, and measurement settings like scale and units. The Interactions tab handles your gestures and stylus settings. Concepts is built to take full advantage of a stylus, so use one if you have it. If you don't have one, we highly recommend it for its natural feel and shortcut possibilities. You can set your stylus to draw and your finger to pan, for instance. Other gesture options available for things like two-finger tap to undo or three-finger tap to redo. The undo one can become so ingrained, you wouldn't be the first one to try it on regular paper later on. Our favorite gesture though is the tap and hold. Like other apps, you can use this on canvas as a color picker, but by default, Concepts let you select things with it. It's a great way to quickly grab something like an imported image or a specific stroke without having to switch tools on the wheel. It's fully customizable via the interaction settings and you can switch between modes directly on the canvas as well. Check out our specific tutorial on selection for more details. We actually have video guides for every feature which you can watch on YouTube or directly inside the app's manual. Speaking of the manual, you can find it here in the help menu. This is your hub for getting unstuck, whether you want to read our latest news, find us on social media, or tap ask us anything to chat with our team. We'll do our best to help you out. Now you're a bit more familiar with the interface, so go ahead and start filling up the infinite canvas. It goes on forever, so, you know. <laughs> face yourself. You can get started with a commitment-free 7-day trial that automatically cancels unless you make a purchase. If you're new to sketching, be sure to check out the free Learn to Draw series on YouTube to help you visualize your ideas. Consider subscribing for future updates while you're there. And finally, show us what you make. If you got a project you're proud of or even just a messy brain dump, tag us at Concepts app on Instagram or join our Discord. Concepts was built as an extension of your brain and seeing how you're filling up that canvas is honestly the most rewarding part of our job.